All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Madden. I do I like sing all right at the beginning of my episodes, don't I? I think I usually cut it out though, because I started noticing it and didn't like it. But welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Madden. Right after the last video, because every time I start playing, I usually have a hard time stopping. Uh, yeah, we said we're gonna do this one because it's only one encounter, and really, we're looking for the fastest mission in this case. What does this give? That gives rapid fire. Do we have? We have him on the team. So we're going to take his, switch it to an enhanced, and then we're going to switch his out for the Lonely Herald because the the difference in their mobility, which is his is 9 and his is 13. So running gun is going to work better for him because he's going to be able to get close to an enemy and actually shoot while um, I don't think an impact frame is useful for him. But it doesn't matter because he doesn't really swing his weapon that much. Not swing, but use his weapon that much. Um, I think the bubble weave is going to be better for him because he's out running around getting shot more or less. And it, ooh, the region weave actually is going to be better for him. So you can keep the bubble weave. You can get the region weave. You'll take a medi patch. You still have a breach charge. Give you the overdrive serum. And... Uh, and a turncoat grenade? Yeah. Take the shot grenade away because we don't actually need it. I don't use it. I don't like it. I don't know. I don't even know why I had it for so long. The gas grenade. We don't want to do that because it's going to cut us off from uh, certain areas. I think. Yeah, you're still holding a frag grenade. Let's take that off of you. And give you a frag grenade. And get that back in rotation on the team. I don't know why I even took it out of rotation over. Grenades that I didn't like as much. Didn't see a use in them for real. I think everything is fully kitted still. Yeah. Alright, right back into the missions. Friendly VIP ready for evac. Hostiles on the move. Alright. Uh, enemies deal plus one damage during the breach. Uh, okay, we'll send Cherub first. And have him failings, I guess. Uh, Verge. That. Okay. I think these others two don't have anything me. they can do. That was weird. He's still doing the thing where he hits the door. I haven't even, like... I literally paused it, got up, did some stuff, and sat back down. So we have a, a bomber up there. Start dealing damage to them. What's your chances on hitting the bomber? If we hit, we should kill because he has AP rounds, doesn't he? Yeah, okay. And then now we can just shoot at whatever we want to. Trooper, I think that, well, this was a trooper two. Trooper three. And a bruiser way in the back. We're not really worried about the bruiser, so we can just start doing damage to the things that are closest to us. That's probably going to die on its turn. What arm am I looking at? Oh, I forgot we were here to save someone, aren't we? Yeah. Eyes on VIP. Deliver that Another big-ass arms dealer. Shit. What is this thing? Okay. Let's give a kinetic shield up first. We can't see the arms dealer who I want to get a, the first kinetic shield. We can take out the number three. And go ahead and blow up that car. Hopefully we didn't kill anyone with that on accident. Any other civilians. What about number three? What are our chances? If we shield bash them, we could hit them. But I'm not really trying to do that right now. So We're going to take the shot on them. Actually, we don't need to do anything to them. So, we're going to... We're going to... How far can I get this grenade to go? And what do we need to get the VIP to? Uh, we're gonna give a kinetic shield to Cherub. Protected from all angles. And then we're gonna shield bash them. Because we can make the distance there. It'll do a little bit of damage, get Cherub up close, and it'll also use him to draw in uh, a shot. 
let's see how far we can move this um this vip not far at all i guess getting cover right here i don't think that thing will explode it looks like it's an actual building and not a vehicle as i as i knew you would where's number three at number three is gonna die on their turn So I put Verge, I put Verge right here. I can make it there. Oh, that means he's only going to be able to do one thing and not two. Didn't think about that before I did that. Let's drop some acid on this Throwing Praetorian. Grenade. And shred off some of his armor and make him start taking damage over time. Even though he, I think, was he going to put the armor back on? Yeah, he did. Okay. And then let's use, let's see if we can kill it with Banish. Doesn't look like it actually, so let's go for a stupor on it then. That way we don't have to deal with it at all on its uh, turn. Although I did just leave uh, Verge open to the number four Bruiser. They're out. Okay. Can Shrapnel, not Shrapnel, God damn it, Claymore see them? He can. If you just go right, that would be nice too. No? Okay. You can throw a plasma grenade and take them out, can't you? Throwing plasma. Clearing yep. The okay, so they're out of the way now. It was the training. And we're gonna move them up Traversing. over here. Move Claymore up this way. Just so we have uh, a few more eyes on the Praetorian. Now, you can use Psych up once. On the edge. And then we're going to use Smash from this angle. Because we don't need Cherub going back and forth hitting this thing the whole time. Praetorian takes damage from the Acid Burn and is still stunned. Also ruptured. So now, can you see the VIP? You can. Give it a shield. Armored up. Yeah, they have plus five aim or whatever aim. Let's put Cherub up top, actually. Heading over there. That might be useful to get angles on people. Oh, what? What? A trooper is still alive somewhere? Oh, th yeah, we just ran from the trooper, didn't we? I guess that that yeah, it's definitely on me because they're probably not going to take damage. Is that blown out yet? I think it is. So we're just gonna dash all the way over to here. We have the protection from at least one shot, and they're gonna shoot it. Somehow they missed. I don't. Keep I'm confused because it looked like it did an animation as if the shot intentionally went through, went through them. Okay, now we have a 79% chance to hit. We have a full clip, so let's, let's try it. That's one shot, and Another they're dead now. Down. Okay. You just move Heading straight up. There. Steady pace. And oh, I guess we could try and take this shot on them. Okay, cool. And now Axim can continue to move this way. I guess we might as well dash him, right? Damn, he can get from there to there. Yeah, good thing we gave him the running gun ability. Although we're not gonna take him out yet because we still don't have our VIP secured, and I can't remember how far the VIP can actually move. Actually, he should be able to make that move. Uh, Cherub can go into Overwatch on this door. Guess we should have passed the shield out first, but eh, whatever. We're on our way out now. Because everyone's going to get a turn before uh, the the reinforcements get in here. Uh, let's... Ooh. Yeah, Verge got cut up a little further back than I hoped he would. So Verge can move up to there. We'll have Claymore move to here. It offers him no cover from that entrance, but hopefully whatever comes still, he'll be able to take out immediately anyways. And then Axiom can also overwatch this entrance, just so we can make sure that Claymore doesn't take any unnecessary damage. Oh, didn't even see that entrance over there. Okay, cool. Didn't expect it to be an insta-kill, but that guy got in for free. 
and that that's it okay okay I guess give a shield to yourself because you're the only one you can see lightning hands you can hit them or you can hit them either way we're gonna do a hundred percent here uh, it'll do the same amount of damage either way so let's do a normal shot on them Got my target. just to make sure they're taken out and then we can do another shot on them and deal some extra damage I don't know if Verge is going to be able to make it to the point, uh, so that's why I didn't move us out. Okay, I guess Verge is able to make it. And, uh, team... Okay, that's fine. Team up with Cherub. And then you can get out. Evac. Running out of ammo. Doesn't matter. Don't fuck this one up. Okay. Okay, I'm moving. Evac. We also could do in the next playthrough. We can just start it as a normal mission instead of focusing on the story, which will skip that first little uh, mission we did where it introduced uh, Terminal Cherub, Verge, and uh, Godmother, and we can just pick who we start with. I don't think I'm gonna start with the people that I haven't seen yet. I don't know. Probably so. That would be the easiest way to make sure that I get all of them, because I could not get them as well. Uh, due to geography, Angler Point was the best part of the city in the occupation days. When food was short, you could catch your dinner. It felt open despite the ugly city wall in the background. Plus, the advent patrols weren't as high as strong because it was too central for the resistance to hit. Uh, our city unrest has gone up in two areas, and we have two new idle agents. I must ask for a favor. Sure. What's up? A new restaurant opened on the promenade. Steak sandwiches, processed cheese sauce, authentic old world cuisine. You can't eat that. You'll die. <laughs> but you can. And with your consent, I can share your sense of taste. Yeah, man. I'll taste greasy food for you. As long as we split the cost. Deal. Let's get Godmother going on humanitarian aid, I guess. Um. Yeah. If Godmother does that, she'll be stuck there for five days. We could have Patchwork do it too. Let's have Patchwork do it because I know I'm not going to use her as much anymore. And then Godmother can go in here because she could potentially be pulled in for the last mission just to make sure that we have enough um, people to do it. And I'm trying to get people trained up, basically preparing for that mission. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, four days left on that. We can use, it's only Wednesday, but I mean, we're maxed out on everything anyways. Then we have no reason to use this. But, uh, I guess we, we'll use it for the intel. And then we'll go here. Yeah. Oh, scavenger market thing is here. The parts of your dossier that aren't sealed suggest you had a role in the 2015 invasion. I know you ask, but you do not want to know. Just tell me this. Did you regret it? Any of it? Why do you think my dossier is sealed? That's not an answer. It is not the answer you want, but it is the answer that is best for us both. Interesting. I don't know what the dossier is, necessarily. Don't even know what the word means, to be honest. Uh, but it sounds like there might be some skepticism of his loyalties. and I guess they want him to feel bad for what he did for the... Um, for the invasion because he was the uh he was with advent the alien invasion that kind of started everything for XCOM. so you would want the guy who worked with them so closely to feel bad for what he did what kind of scope do you have you have a you can give him a superior scope but there's guns that deal more damage that i'd rather have a scope for so give you a superior scope and a superior stock you can lose the impact frame and take an advanced an advanced scope instead 
Um, you can get your scope back. You have a scope and a targeting system. That's fine. And I guess we'll give you the last two things. Actually, no, because I don't want stuff sitting on you. And I don't, it's only one encounter on this mission. So even if we did lose somebody, you won't be going in. So let's launch the mission now. Hostiles ahead. Sweep and clear. Subdue if able. All right. Claymore lead us through this entrance with Verge coming next with the hollow scanner. Uh, last unit through this entrance is guaranteed to land the shot. First unit through this entrance is marked into the end. Yeah, we'll abort that completely. Yeah, there's no point in sending someone through there just to be marked for the encounter. Clearing apart. Interesting how it grayed out that entrance first. It looks like Verge isn't hitting the back of his gun on walls to throw grenades anymore, so that glitch seems to have fixed itself. What's this one? A dominator? Okay, we'll shoot you. They're poisoned. That doesn't really save us from anything though. Um, let's go for the necromancer next because their abilities are just annoying since they bring in two others, right? Uh, we'll have you take a shot. Nope. Actually, you're almost certainly going to kill anything you shoot at in here. Let's go for uh let's go for uh something with full health. I'm upset that it gives us plasma grenades as uh legendary weapons or whatever, the epic weapons, because I like the way that the other shotguns shoot. Everything else I'm kinda of fine with, but just the way that shotgun shoot. I like the sound better. Where can I put this to deal the most damage? use a sticker grenade up there actually and no matter where they moved I'm pretty sure they're not gonna make it to us right yeah that's that's kind of what I wanted to see them getting closer to some uh some of their allies now I can drop a plasma grenade in take both of you plasma out, out. so that's pretty dropped. good And, all right, what are we looking at now? Number two is the Necromancer. Um, I'm going to drop this right in front of them. Because I know it's not going to go before them, but it will immediately take out their, uh, what you call it, if they decide that they're going to stay standing there. The little zombies that it brings back. Plus, either way, it is still ruptured. And it might have just spawned at least one of those spectral zombies in the zone of that explosion as well. Alright. Let's see. Battle Madness on a bomber. I don't think it's going to be as useful as if we did... Actually, no. The bomber has a gun. It's not like with the... Show them the purifiers that have flamethrowers. Because those, those didn't do anything but run around if you used the Berserk on them. Or uh, Battle Madness. Yeah, see. I like the way that shotgun sounds. It's funny how... You mind control it and then it's happy when it gets a kill on its own team. They're likely not to take damage from that. What can we hit with Vanish? Uh, hang on, let's just do normal shots. Oh, uh, we can shoot that. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Drop an acid grenade on you. Throwing grenade! And then let's shoot that tank. Cause this is gonna blow up, deal a little. Ooh, wait, I didn't see that uh, civilian right there. Okay, they're fine. Deal that little bit of damage. Are they poisoned? They're not. That went off and did some damage there. You can use. I have you use running gun, right? If we can we get to this point right here without being poisoned? We can. So you can use running gun. Coming for you. And run all the way to here. Throw a grenade. 
a turncoat grenade. Actually, that's not going to do anything to them. Uh, the edge and overdrive serum receives a bonus to mobility plus the armor and a mentally immune for the next two turns. I don't think we need to do that yet. If we get a crit right here, we'll kill, I think. Not a crit, but that's not bad. They're on one health, so when it gets back to their turn, they're going to die from the poison. So, Cherub can get... Can you throw a frag grenade that far? We can. Tossing frag. Clear chemical productions. Wow, not what I expected. And then we'll use... Then we'll use lightning hands to try and take them out. All right, cool. Another was that another flawless mission? Two two back to back, I think. I think there are episodes apart though, so it doesn't matter. But I think these might go out on the same week. Who knows? I actually don't know. I'm off. When I started doing this two at a time, I didn't do it as uh, evens. I think I did it as odds, which is what threw me off. But whatever. We used to call the place called the place shankville it was outside the walls so Evan didn't care what ha what went on i'm glad the city council leveled the place and built something new don't know if i'm fancy enough to live in renova heights but i can't walk down the street without someone killing me for my dental work definite improvement was that stay out of bugtown yeah then we've read that one before too new supply items i know you don't talk about the invasion but what about after were you some kind of interrogator? Not at first. I was assigned to a scientist with broad popular appeal. What'd you do? I ensured he spoke of our arrival in a positive light. Emphasized the benefits of bowing down to the elders. That's kind of gross. If we failed, plan B was to purge the planet of all sentient life. Verge, you're a gross hero. Hilarious. Less wrong is still wrong. I accept that now. Yeah, less wrong is still wrong. It's like trying to, it's like a double negative. Two negatives don't make a positive. Just because it's a slightly less evil doesn't mean it's not evil. We could, uh, we can freeze this district actually. And then, oop, didn't mean to do that. We'll use, we'll just do it this way because we don't need to use Dragnet. Yep, okay. So we got the progeny equipment and the terminal finished guardian. We don't have much else to get into. Breach explosives? Oh, we never did. I never did do this one, did I? No wonder I have so few breach things. Should definitely do that in the next one. Um. Um. Yeah, I guess we're ready for it. What time is it? 20 minutes in? And we have one day left on that. Okay. A superior scope or an epic assault rifle. We could get another epic assault rifle. Just to check it out. Because we only have the one. So we could have each person have their own uh, epic assault. So let's do it this way. I like that. I like that better. One or more agents is idle. Who is idle? Oh, yeah. Terminal's idle now. I'm going to save Terminal to put her in for the next mission. So let's put in a uh, Zephyr, I guess, into training to get high impact. And uh, I didn't want to. Well, she's not finished with her training, so yeah, that's fine with me. Okay. Is it? Yeah, that's going. Zephyr's in their training. She's still doing her whatever. All right. So yeah, let's get into it. I don't think we have to change anything about the team either. Yeah, we don't. So we can go straight into this next mission. Okay. Looks like the hostiles have a weapon on our list. Breach mode. Uh, enemies are harder to hit through the entrance. Let's send in Verge first. Actually, no. Ask him because he does have his scream, so might as well give him the try. Uh, we could hollow scan if we want to. Cherub can go then claim more. I don't think we want to hollow scan right here. Keep behind me. Alright, you're gonna die. 
or not, I guess. Yeah, survived with one. Guess that's what I get for being cocky. Whatever. All right. I'll take this shot on you, just to take you out of the turn order. Might as well. And now you're hollow targeted, so we're not likely to miss. Did we take that out all the way? Okay, cool. So we don't have to worry about being too grouped up. Duel? Oh, on who? Okay. On Claymore. Um, who's up first? Number two is a bruiser? Use a turncoat grenade. And we can hit both of them. So let's do it like that. Let's see who they decide to shoot at. Each other is fine. Never mind. It's a little. Is that thing holding a pistol? I fucking hate. I hate both of them. They just yeah. And then they're gonna come in with perfect aim when it comes to shooting at us. Okay. Um. I'm gonna use Psycho to potentially get these uh inhibiting effects on. Damn. We have terrible chances here. I guess I'm going to hit him because he has the highest chance, right? No, let's go for the number two still. Because it'll at least draw that shot in. And he does have the region weave, so he should be fine. They're disorientated too, so they're going to uh, have a harder time shooting. Every little bit counts. Interesting. They grouped right up with them. That's fine with me. I'll drop a grenade on them real quick. Actually, I don't think so. I think pythons are... Um, Oops, immune to battle madness. Or immune to poison. Let's use battle madness on them. Because they might be berserked on the turn and not take a shot. Okay. Guess we get nothing from that berserk. And then uh, we'll put number four in a stupor. My mind over yours. They're probably just going to shoot from there, so that didn't really help out too much. Did the Berserk stop them? It did. Why is it doing that? Oh, I have my mouse at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Okay. Let's Lightning Cans that. So they're dead. That's kind of brutal how, how like, broke the shield and splattered them against the back, but whatever. You're going to need this shield Claymore. Because that Praetorian will not miss against you. And now let's take another shot. Um, if we shoot at the Praetorian, we can break its shield again with whatever uh, Claymore has. So I don't want to spread the damage out some more because I know Clay not, yeah, Claymore is going to be focused on the, uh, what you call it, that Praetorian. Oh, I forgot about Axiom over there. That's not what I expected to happen at all. Also annoying though. Uh, flesh wound. It's not really a flesh wound, dog. Okay. If we use rapid fire on them, fire twice in a row at an enemy. Each shot suffers an aim penalty of negative fifteen percent. Well, I can drop a plasma grenade on them first. Plasma out. This is going to reduce the amount of the armor they have to one instead of two. Because, you know what? It, oh, I guess it's not going to reduce the amount of armor they have at all. I was functioning under the, uh, under the assumption that it would um shred all of their armor no matter what. Um, if we drop this, it'll go off before the Praetorian's next turn. If we put it over here, it could hit them both. Let's do it like this, because I know the uh, the Paladin is a buffing unit, so I might give them another turn or something. I haven't seen fully what they can do. And now, we'll use Rapid Fire on them. And let's take extra damage from this because they're now ruptured too. Hit. Ooh, and they're poisoned. Off the armor. A good Interesting. Oh, the second shot. Okay, just didn't show the shot, which is weird. Uh, Python got some health back. Fine. Sustain the bind. I know what this is about because I used Torque, who is the serpent uh, looking enemy. 
Um, stupor. On number four. Stupor. Okay, Battle Madness on number four. Nothing? Why can't I do anything to them? Oh, well. Banish? Well, no, I don't need to do that. I'll just take a shot on them. That makes more sense. It's funny how his arm is pushed behind his back there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, frag grenade. Who is this? This is Cherub. Let's give uh, Cherub give himself a shield. Armored up. And then take this shot since now it's a hundred percent chance of hitting. Ooh, and we did a uh, and we critted too, so that's pretty good. All right. Out of ammunition. Doesn't really matter. We're gonna move you over here and take the last shot on this uh, paladin. Should be 100% chance. Only three health, you're definitely gonna die. And we're gonna move into the next <laughs> area. I forgot there was a faces here. We didn't have to worry about them at all. I think I just gave myself the hiccups. <clears throat> what a terrible time to do that in the middle of a video. Yeah. Um. We don't have a key card or anyone with this thing. We'll get him yelling through the door. I think he's only a one rage, but that's better than no chance. Successful shots through this entrance will crit. We'll get the shotgun guys going first and then Verge and uh, Cherub last or Cherub and Verge if I want to say it in the right order. That's weird. Nope. Hold up. Mm -mm. Where is it at? What is this? Not a bomber. What are you? Oh, hello? A berserker? The game's gonna try and flash that like it's not something that should be held on the screen for any significant amount of time? The hell is this? Alright, well let's shoot it. Why'd you why are you way back here? You took like 50 steps backwards. This shit is weird. Take this thing out, I think. Yeah, okay. A cobra. Yeah, let's spread the damage out some more. Because I don't know what this berserk is going to do. So, I mean, if it, the worst comes out of it, I'll just have to focus them down. But spread this damage out. It should be fine. No, no, no. Uh, that's pretty good. So we did get the panic. I don't know what they're going to do. Oh, they shot at their teammate. It just didn't show the animation for it, which is weird. I have the target. We're gonna just use the adrenal surge real quick. Good to go. And just uh psych him all the way up. Wired up. And keep on it the going. Edge. Who wants some? Ready for action. His max rage isn't five though, is it? Oh, don't need to do uh Gain bonus to mobility and mentally Plus three armor, yeah, so we're gonna do this actually. And then we're gonna have you use smash, not on you. We'll have you use smash on the number two trooper. Doesn't take an ability. Gives us the uh gives us the item also. Fortunate blossom. And then we're gonna use smash again on you and try and take you out. Popping over. Okay, so we're able to take that out and not have to deal with it. It looks like the armor tightened a little bit. Just actually no, yeah, just because it's like open and fleshy kind of. The actual armor tightened, not when Aaron took the powers. At least I think, if I remember correctly, I didn't watch that show as. Uh, Religiously as others. I have a present for you. Hopefully this thing doesn't come closer to Verge. Probably should have thought about Look that out. before I did it, but didn't matter because it moved far. It like moved past him basically. We'll drop a shrapnel bomb Throwing right explosive. there. They didn't check where it was gonna land in the turn order actually. Okay, that's fine. Why does it have armor? Good to go. That might not be the best, best move, especially since, ooh, he has all that armor now, too. 
He's not he's not dead, y'all. I can calm down a little bit. Frag out. Is that gonna blow up the other thing? Ah, fuck, forgot. This thing has blasting pads. Okay. Well. That's a little annoying. Didn't realize he had that. I can't see how much damage I'm finna do. Oh, alright. Enough. Use battle mana on you. This man, it came in. Like, we started this mission. Panic, shot his teammate, got his teammate killed pretty much. Still hasn't gotten a turn. Now we're gonna use him to deal more damage to his team? Yep. This man is. He might as well join us. Shit. Alright. And we'll use just stupor and keep everything at bay here. Yeah, okay. Plus one health. You smash not on you, on you because, um, why not? Basically, hostile isn't moving. What does Yusuf do? We already got the weapon that we needed and all that. Only Axiom took that one shot of damage, but he healed it back up instantly. So I think that region, yeah, we want to try and get more of those. I think. Don't really know if I can uh, research them and just craft them on my own, but I'm fine with it either way. Uh, if the stacks are City 31's beating industry heart, the switch yard, then switch yard it the is it the or then whichever one. The switch yard is its circulatory system. Repurposed occupation era trains deliver essential goods to the entire region from the district. We strive to be good neighbors. City 31 Tourism Council, a source of vitality for many, but not all, terrestrial and extraterrestrial species. Gray Phoenix relies upon covert strongholds and safe houses to operate in City 31. Locate and dismantle these locations. They won't have anywhere to run. Okay. Interesting. So was that's giving us this mission to do now? Okay. And we still have no city anarchy either. Um yeah, I think I'm gonna save that for the next episode though. And we're gonna get in there and uh stop whatever they have going on. I do need to pull this district down though, otherwise it's gonna start going into our city anarchy. I guess that might have been better to let that because then I could yeah, whatever. Anyways, when I do this mission, do did I check everything? We have one more day left on the Sacred Coil Fire Gear. She has one more day left on her human humanitarian aid. We have four days left here, and then that's just we don't need to wait. Grants immunity to any negative mental effects like disorientation, stun, panic, and mind control. Note that any psionic attack that deals direct damage are not blocked by mind shield. That's something that I was wondering. Talent rounds. These rounds get grant 20% critical chance and plus bonus damage on critical hits. That's pretty good. Uh, I think I need to look into those the next time we do a playthrough. Uh, relocation disc. Teleport to a nearby location. Can teleport even while rooted. These... The science behind the relocation disc is cutting edge. The disc itself is only mildly ir irradiating and works only for short distances. Yeah, okay. Wait, what does it say? These rounds fracture into wicked micro shards of alien alloy or on impact, causing great internal damage and increasing the damage done on it critical hits. Okay. All right. So we have incendiary stuff being looked up next. All right. So, we know what we're doing in the next mission, on the next episode. Everything just came down by a bunch, because uh, Patrick just finished a uh, humanitarian aid. Finished this. If you've been to Burger Palace, you know we've had the same great taste since the occupation. But how? Our consent decree with the Global Truth and Reconciliation Commission is quite clear in its restrictions. And we agree. It was time for a change. So we partnered with Food Life to find the closest match. But not too close. This way we can still give you what you want without breaking the law. Burger Palace. New name, new formula, same great taste. This sounds like a sleazy way to get around whatever the hell they got marked for at first. 
but that's gonna be all for this video this was a little bit shorter than you actually no it's not it's the same amount of time uh but yeah thanks for watching don't forget to follow all the socials in the description below it helps me grow my channel into something bigger than what it is uh thanks for watching and i'll see y'all next time